Tonight, Kenny Ritchie contemplates a new life with an old love in Scotland. That and more on the 5.30 show. Tonight, Kenny Ritchie reunited with his ex-wife and talking exclusively about his future. Welcome to the brand new 5.30 show. We're here every weeknight. It feels a bit like the first day in a new job, doesn't it? Does, it does, yeah. See, your shoes are well polished. Yeah, you had your hair done. Again. <laughs> I'm a woman, that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> also coming up on tonight's programme, Scottish singer Amy MacDonald performs her latest single exclusively for the 5.30 show. And we report from Britain's most glamorous Burns Supper. But first tonight, three weeks after his release from death row in the United States, Kenny Ritchie has been reunited with his ex-wife Wendy in Edinburgh. Following 21 years apart, the couple are now together and discussing a future in Scotland. In a moment, Kenny talks live and exclusively to the 5.30 show. But first, I spent this morning with him in his home city, a place he barely recognises. What are the biggest changes you see? Buildings. Uh, a lot of the old buildings I used to get in are gone now. Like one of the pubs I used to go to is near a pub anymore, it's a casino. I think it's ugly. I'm sure they used the money they built, used to build this. Put it better use. What the hell is that? That's uh, dynamic air. That's new as well. It's a tourist attraction. <laughs> what for? <laughs> I'll let you make your mind up. You should go and have a look at that as well. Had you thought about how different it was going to be coming back? No, in my mind it was still the same. Yeah, I was still in 1987. Technology. No use to it. You're like a man stuck in a time warp, aren't you? I mean, presumably the music. Up here, I'm still 21 too. It's only when I look in the mirror that I get a shock, you know. You've got one big hope for the moment, and that's Wendy, your ex-wife who's just arrived in Scotland. Um, she's here to see what she thinks of the place. Do you think you're going to have a future together? I don't know. You hope so? I'm hoping so, aren't I? Well, there's more of that interview on our website, scv.tv forward slash 5.30. But now Kenny and Wendy join us live. Kenny, it sounds like you're really struggling to, to readjust back here in Scotland. No, no, I'm having a hard time. What's been the hardest thing, you think? Well, just the change that have happened since I've been gone. What's the reaction been from people? I spent this morning with you in Edinburgh. guy came up and shook your hands in the street. What kind of reaction are you getting from it's people? Basically, a bit more or less what's been happening since I've been back. You know, most people have been coming up and uh, shaking my hand, congratulating me, welcoming me back home, you know. Any problems so far? Oh, no, no. I mean, your face is so well known now. I mean, you must be beginning no, to start to appreciate not. that. No? No. You're not getting a lot of people coming up to you in the street all the well, time? Well, I do have a lot of people come up in the street, yeah. And are you, are you getting help to readjust and, and no. get back into daily life? Not really. Uh, I have a a confidence coach, or a life coach, or whatever it is. But, uh, that's about it. We met you today after you'd been in Sacro, who work with uh, offenders to help them resettle into society. Is that proving helpful for you? I don't know. I just uh, start. I just went the other day. That's my first time there. I just uh, introducing myself and uh, getting to know them and try to find out what they can do. Do you want help and assistance? Do you think you need it? Oh, I need it. I. I mean, it's the, the simplest of readjustments. We met you earlier on today, and it was it was saying now we need to go out outdoors to have a cigarette. Things like this. That 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 the, the things have just changed so much in two decades. A lot has changed. I no, used to go out for a cigarette. And what a cigarette usually on you know, have it in a bar or wherever you are. You know, bus can't smoke in a bus anymore. Taxis anymore. Pubs, and uh, pubs the biggest one. I think each pub owner should be allowed to. Uh, uh, determine whether or not you can have smoke in this building. 
Wendy's here with you now. She arrived just before the weekend, 21 years apart. She didn't visit you in jail. It's a long, long time. Can you rebuild a relationship after all that time? Well, we're going to try. And you want to do it here? No. Uh, well, this is my home. You know, Scotland's my, my home. It's my country. It's where I'm fit. And so what are your plans now? Obviously, Wendy has just arrived. You're here for, for a few weeks. What are your plans now to, to try and build that future together? Uh, we're just taking it slowly for now. I mean, we haven't really made any plans. But uh, right now we're trying to look for a house or something. And will that be in Edinburgh? Uh, well, it could be anywhere in Scotland. <laughs> you know, the property prices in Edinburgh are a wee bit high. <laughs> yeah, I can't you afford anything. You certainly have found that in 20 years. Oh, I. You divorced, but Wendy always kept your surname. She's always been Richie. Aye. Can this story still have a happy ending for you? I guess that's because she didn't, didn't like her last name. Huh? <laughs> I think Richie was better than Amarud. <laughs> <laughs> and you have hopes that your son will also come and, um, come and join you? I will well, hope he will later on. And you could live together again as a family? Possibly. Good chance. Good we'll to see. have you with us. Wendy, what have you thought of Scotland so far? So far, very nice, very pleasant. It's usually a bit warmer than this. Mm. It's normally not cold it's, to me. Oh, it's about <laughs> 70 or 80 degrees normally at this time of the year. Oh. Sounds like you're going to have to get used to it. <laughs> Wendy, Kenny Ritchie, live on the 5.30 show. Thanks for joining us. Well, still to come, details of our Plasma TV competition and Amy McDonald performing her current single. Fabulous. But first, the family of murdered Scottish backpacker Karen Aim is preparing for her funeral tomorrow. Her body arrived back on Orkney last night and will be laid to rest in a service at the local church in Home. At the same time, a special memorial service will take place in New Zealand where the 26-year-old was murdered 10 days ago. Well, we can cross now live to Taupo and speak to a friend of Karen's who worked with her there. Christine Robb joins us now live from New Zealand. Christine, um, tell us, what was Karen like? Oh, she was a, a lovely, bubbly, vibrant girl. Um, she worked at, um, at the glass gallery that um, I own and she was wonderful. Um, yeah, unforgettable. We've had people um, from all over New Zealand who'd been in and um, talked with her at the gallery, ringing me and sending cards, um, you know, just having remembered her just from coming in once. She was lovely. Yeah. You worked with her, Christine. How has this affected yourself and all of her colleagues over there in New Zealand? It's been absolutely devastating for us. Um, she was just such a wonderful girl. She made a huge impact um, on the, um, the gallery where she worked. And it's just been shocking for, I think, not just um, our own um, workplace, but the whole of the Taupo community. Christine, it's the day of the funeral there. What have you got planned to remember her by? Um, we've actually got a uh, memorial service planned today at 5.30 um, and I'm sure we've got uh, quite a lot of fundraising going on over here as well. We're going to be sending um, back the family uh, a wonderful big piece of art glass from the gallery that she worked at um, and we're also going to be having a permanent m memorial um, here in Taupo for Karen. Christine, a lot of people, a lot of young backpackers choose to come to New Zealand because it's, it seemed to be so safe. Obviously, Karen's murder throws that perhaps into question. What would you be saying to those that are thinking about coming over there? Look, I, um, we all think it's a, a wonderful, safe place and um, it's been a shock to everyone here and I just um, hope that it was just a, a real, you know, one off but I, I, I still think New Zealand is, is a lovely safe place but it's just been shocking to everyone here Christine, and our, our hearts go out to um, the AIM family. Indeed, Christine live from New Zealand, best wishes for the memorial service today, thanks for your time. Coming up after the break on your first 5.30 show, the Scottish celebrities encouraging the English to head north of the border.